morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning we'll tell you about the findings of the Benghazi Report, John Glenn hoping to inspire kids, and more. Today is Wednesday, June 29th, and this is the Morning Report. Republicans on the House Benghazi Committee harshly faulted the Obama administration Tuesday for lax security and a slow response to the deadly 2012 attacks in Libya. But they produced no new allegations about the then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The attacks, which killed four Americans, have been repeatedly cited by Republicans as a serious failure by the administration and by Clinton. The 800-page report from the two-year and $7 million investigation severely criticizes the military, CIA, and administration officials for their response as the attacks unfolded and their subsequent explanation to the American people, but offered no smoking gun about Clinton's role. Democrats denounced the Republicans' report as a conspiracy theory on steroids and an effort to bring back long-debunked allegations with no credible evidence whatsoever. Read more about the GOP report at NaplesHerald.com. The 94-year-old former U.S. Senator and astronaut John Glenn said on Tuesday that he hopes changing Port Columbus's name to John Glenn Columbus International Airport will inspire young people to pursue new aviation advances into the future. Glenn of New Concord was the first American to successfully orbit the Earth. The airport in Ohio holds a dear place in his heart as the place where Glenn ogled planes as a kid, came and went to two wars, boarded his first jet, and even piloted an aircraft up until the ripe age of 90. The airport has now been named in his honor. After the announcement of Republican Kurt Claussen's 19th district seat opening, candidates have started the vying process to fill it. Republican Chauncey Goss touched base with the Naples Herald to tell our readers why he's running for Congress. Goss, a native of Southwest Florida, asks about the country's $4 trillion debt. Why won't Congress and the President put our fiscal house in order? And he writes that the short answer is that it's just too hard. Goss says he's running for Congress because he can combine his love of Southwest Florida with his expertise in federal fiscal policy and plans to fight to repeal and replace Obamacare, vigorously defend the Second Amendment, fight for religious and economic liberty, and against the Department of Education and its heavy-handed treatment of our local school districts. Read more from the candidate at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.